Stop and listen. Tomorrow, two women will come forward to confess their regrettable actions that have deeply impacted your personal life. In a moment of courage, these women have chosen to confront their mistakes, acknowledging the regrettable actions that have had a significant impact on your life's journey. They have a hidden agenda in this confession as well. These individuals have decided to come forward and take responsibility for their deeds, recognizing the gravity of their actions and the consequences they have brought upon you. They wish to win your trust this time. Motivated by their own desires, they sought to destroy and disrupt the sanctity of your private space. I will disclose the reasons behind their actions, one from each woman. Angels want to change how you see yourself before diving into the plans of two women. You've made a bold decision to chase your dreams, gathering all the tools and resources needed to make it happen. With a clear plan in mind, you're ready to take each step towards your goal, fueled by determination and courage. This journey is yours to conquer, and with each move forward, you're one step closer to achieving your dreams. Feel the excitement of your adventurous spirit beckoning you towards new horizons, urging you to break free from the ordinary and embrace the unknown. With courage in your heart, you're ready to embark on this thrilling journey of discovery. Each step you take fills you with anticipation, knowing that every twist and turn holds the promise of growth and fulfillment. As you set out on this path of exploration, you do so with confidence, knowing that each experience will enrich your life in ways you never imagined. Now coming back to the intention of these women, driven by envy and jealousy, one woman allowed resentment to consume her as she measured her life against your achievements and joy. Blinded by her own insecurities, she disrupted the tranquility of your world, seeking solace in her misguided actions. Unfortunately, her pursuit of personal satisfaction resulted in anguish and heartache for those around her, leaving a trail of pain in her wake. Motivated by feelings of betrayal and anger, the second woman was consumed by a desire for revenge, convinced that you had wronged her in some way. Blinded by her emotions, she couldn't see past her own hurt, believing falsely that you had turned your back on her. This clouded her judgment, pushing her to take extreme actions to hurt you personally. Sadly, she failed to understand the real impact of her choices, causing further harm in her quest for retribution. Now going back to the angel's message of changing yourself, you're tasked with understanding how a project benefits everyone. Your job is to inspire others, pumping them up to give their all, all for the greater good. Imagine you're the captain of a team, guiding them toward a common goal that benefits everyone. You need to rally their energy and focus, encouraging each person to contribute their best effort. It's like being the conductor of an orchestra, bringing together each instrument to create a harmonious symphony of success. Your role is vital in ensuring that everyone works together with enthusiasm and determination knowing that their efforts will make a positive impact on the world around them. So, gear up, ignite that passion within, and lead the charge toward a brighter future for all. Your knack for organization ensures that everyone stays on course, boosting the confidence of each individual. When you serve as a beacon of inspiration, the results are bountiful, and everyone leaves feeling more empowered and capable. Think of yourself as the conductor of a well-oiled machine, orchestrating each part to work seamlessly together. Your ability to keep things running smoothly is like the glue that holds everything together, ensuring that everyone feels valued and motivated. As you lead by example, others will look to you for guidance and encouragement, knowing that you have their best interests at heart. So, embrace your role as a leader and watch as those around you flourish and grow in confidence. Listen closely, for there are those among us who possess great power or resources, but lack the maturity to handle them wisely. 
Sometimes, it's because they identify too strongly with their wealth, leading to flashy displays, trying to buy friendships, or even being overly frugal. At the heart of this issue lies a lack of self-awareness and the wisdom to utilize these opportunities effectively. If this doesn't describe you, consider offering guidance to those who may need it. You could be the objective voice of reason they seek to regain balance and perspective. However, if you find yourself resonating with these words, let this message serve as a gentle nudge towards self-reflection and growth. Embrace the chance to reassess your priorities and make wiser choices with the resources at your disposal. Remember, true fulfillment comes from using your blessings wisely and with humility. God reveals that all this time, you have been misled, blaming someone else for the turmoil in your life. In reality, these two women, influenced by their struggles and emotions, are the source of your pain. I share this not to burden your heart, but to offer you a path to healing and understanding. Embrace this revelation as an opportunity to lift the veil of confusion and find peace within yourself. If you resonate with this message and seek clarity, show your support by liking this video and typing triple one in the comments. When you're confronted with these unexpected truths, it's natural to feel anger and resentment bubbling up inside. But as a messenger of the divine, I urge you to seek forgiveness within your heart. Forgiveness doesn't excuse any wrongs done to you, but it frees you from carrying the heavy weight of hatred. Embrace forgiveness as a powerful tool for healing and restoring your emotional well-being. By letting go of resentment, you pave the way for peace and inner strength to blossom within you. Throughout this journey filled with obstacles, always remember that the actions of others do not define who you are. Deep within you lies the strength to overcome the pain inflicted by others. You are cherished and valued, and nothing can extinguish the radiant light that emanates from your heart. As someone dear to me, I want you to recognize the greatness within yourself. Embrace your inner strength and resilience for they are the keys to overcoming any challenges that come your way. If these words resonate with you, show your support by liking this video and spreading positivity to others. Taking care of yourself and growing as a person are super important for feeling good. You shouldn't let what others think define how you see yourself. Do things that make you happy and feel fulfilled. Hang out with people who support and encourage you making you feel good about yourself. These things will help you stay positive and confident in who you are. Today marks a new chapter in your life. Embrace the truth and rebuild your private space. Let go of the past's negative influences and step forward with courage, faith, and hope. Remember, you are never alone. If you agree, show your support by typing triple one in the comments. Divine guidance leads you towards a brighter future, dear child. As you absorb these words, feel God's unconditional love surrounding you. Embrace the journey of self-discovery and growth. You possess the strength to overcome any obstacle that comes your way. With forgiveness and determination, you will rise like a phoenix, ready to embrace the beautiful life that lies ahead. Trust in the divine plan knowing that you are eternally cherished. Now listen to this secret. The Father says today, be of good courage, for the works of darkness will not swallow you up no matter what things may look like at the moment. The enemy spied a break in your defenses, and you have felt the sting of it. But do not despair, for I am bringing a swift resolution. I am never late, and I never abandon my children. Do not let thoughts of being forsaken occupy your heart. I am a God of blessing, abundance, and delight in providing for you from my storehouses in heaven. Today, watch and see as I extend a blessing specifically out of my throne room. It is positioned to reach you right where you are. As you receive this blessing, remember that I am a God of restoration. Not only am I restoring you in this moment of need, but I am also restoring relationships, dreams, and opportunities that may have seemed lost. 
Just as I am extending a blessing to you, I am also extending a hand to guide you through this challenging time. Know that I am a God of justice. I see the inequities that have been done to you, and I will bring about rectitude for these transgressions against you in due time. Rest assured that I am working behind the scenes to make things right and bring about a fair resolution to the wrongs that have been done. Lastly, remember that I am a God of redemption. Those who don't see you the way I do, through the lens of Calvary's forgiveness, think you deserve to suffer. That is not my heart toward you. This isn't about you getting what you deserve because of past indiscretions or failures. No matter your mistakes or struggles, I am here to offer you forgiveness and a fresh start. I am ever the God of the second chance. Allow my love and grace to wash over you. And know that I am always ready to walk alongside you on your journey of growth and transformation. As you receive the blessing that I am extending to you today, remember that I am a God of provision, restoration, justice, and redemption. Trust in my faithfulness and know that I am always working for your good. Embrace the blessing that I am offering you today and watch as I work miracles in your life. Get it embedded down deep in your heart that change isn't harmful. Change is beneficial. I am the God who never changes. Yet, I require you as my child to be willing to constantly shift, change, and adapt to my unfolding wisdom as I make it available to you. Yes, change has begun in your life. Do not be afraid, for change is an instrument I use to mold you into a more perfect reflection of myself. Do not cling to the comforts and treasures of the past, or you risk missing the new things I have in store for you. I can take even the most broken pieces and create beauty from them, but you must be willing to move forward with me. Change can be a difficult and scary process, but it is necessary for growth and development. It is important to embrace change and trust in my plan for your life. Just as a potter molds clay into a beautiful vessel, I am constantly shaping and molding you into the image of my son. Stand ready, for this transformation will require you to let go of old habits, relationships, and previous ways of thinking that no longer serve you or my purposes. It may be uncomfortable at times, but the end result will be worth it. The changes I bring will manifest new opportunities and blessings you never could have imagined. When you are open to the possibility of change, you open yourself up to a world of endless possibilities. I am always working behind the scenes, orchestrating events and circumstances in your life for your ultimate good. By surrendering to my will and trusting in my timing, you can navigate through the uncertainties of change with peace and confidence. Therefore, purpose in your heart and resolve in your mind, no matter what, to embrace change as a necessary part of your growth and transformation. Trust in my plan for your life, knowing that I ever have your best interests at heart. Allow me to mold you into the person I created you to be and watch as the beauty and purpose of your life unfold before your eyes. Remember, change is not the end but a new beginning. With many ongoing new beginnings every morning you set your feet on the floor. Changes that are filled with endless possibilities, answered prayer, and major miracles according to your needs. Do not let the words of those who prophesy doom and gloom cause your resolve to waver. They speak hastily about matters they neither fully understand nor consider in the light of my finished work at the cross. I spoke through my prophet Joel of both darkness and morning light in the same season. The darkness is reserved for my adversaries, yet there will be a brilliant dawn for you. Arise and shine, for my glory has come upon you, and this day illuminates those spheres of influence where I am placing you. This world will be shaken. Yet I will raise my people to stand firm in unshakable dominion. Will you partner with me in establishing my kingdom of love, righteousness, and life? As you navigate through tumultuous times, it is important to remember the power of partnership with me through faith in establishing my kingdom on earth. This partnership calls upon you to stand firm in the face of adversity, trusting in my promises and steadfast love. It is a call to walk in the light of my glory allowing my presence to shine through you and impact the world around you. It is ever crucial in this season to discern the voices that speak into your life and be wary of those who only prophesy doom and gloom. 
While it is important to identify the dark forces at work in the world, you must also hold on to the hope and assurance found in my word. My promises of a brilliant dawn and unshakable dominion remind you that I am in control of your situation and will ultimately triumph over all evil. In partnering with me, you are called to be agents of love, righteousness, and life in a world that desperately needs healing and restoration. This means actively engaging with those around you in my name, showing compassion and mercy, and standing up for justice and righteousness. It is a daunting task, but one that is made possible through alignment with my spirit and reliance on my strength. So, will you heed the call to partner with me, says God, in establishing my kingdom on earth? Will you rise up with courage and faith, knowing that my glory will illuminate the darkness and bring about a new dawn of hope and redemption? The choice is yours, but the opportunity to be a part of something greater than yourself is a privilege not to be taken lightly. Choose to embrace this calling with boldness and determination, knowing that I am with you every step of the way. The lightness in your heart and the song of praise on your lips is a battle cry striking fear into the kingdom of darkness. Your enemy knows that the joy I have placed within you will force his hand. Your rejoicing today declares his defeat. Open your mouth with thanksgiving and shout in jubilant celebration. Laugh defiantly, knowing I have secured your victory and given you every weapon necessary to overcome. In me, you found your safe place, your high fortress. Rest in the assured protection of my presence. Let your joy be a beacon of hope to those around you who are hurting and in need of encouragement. Your ability to find joy in the midst of trials can be a powerful testimony of my faithfulness and love. By choosing to praise and worship me, you are declaring that I am bigger than any situation or struggle you may face. Your joy can be contagious, spreading hope and light to those who are lost in darkness. Furthermore, your joy and praise are a primary form of spiritual warfare, weakening the enemy's grip on your life and those around you. The enemy thrives on fear and discouragement, but when you praise me, you declare that my power is greater than any force of evil. Your song of praise is a declaration of faith in my ability to overcome all obstacles and bring victory in every situation. In times of uncertainty and fear, it can be easy to focus on the negative and allow worry to consume your thoughts. But when you praise me, you shift your focus from your circumstances to my promises. Your joy is a reminder that I am in control and that my plans for you are good. By lifting up your voice in praise, you are affirming your trust in me and my ability to work all things together for your good. So let your heart be light, and your lips be filled with songs of praise. Let your joy be a weapon of warfare against the enemy and a source of hope and encouragement to those around you. You will find true rest and protection in my presence, knowing that I have secured your victory and given you everything you need to overcome. Listen closely. I am making all things new in your life. It's time to shed the heaviness that's weighed you down. Put on your dancing shoes, the ones you've kept tucked away out of disuse. Consider this a divine invitation to rediscover joy. Dust off any instrument you may have neglected, for there will be music in your heart again. Open yourself to this fresh wave of gladness, a wellspring I've prepared especially for you. The tears you've shed will no longer define your days. The long nights spent waiting, yearning for answers that seemed elusive, are over. Don't dwell on that period of unanswered prayers. My timing is perfect, even when it feels like silence. My angels surround you. They are not distant figures, but present wall to wall and floor to ceiling in your life. They are here to usher in this newness, to be your constant companions on this path forward. Perhaps a question lingers. Do you doubt my love for you? Look to the cross. There, on that rugged instrument of sacrifice, see the ultimate expression of my unwavering devotion. Then, turn your gaze to the throne, a symbol of my power and majesty. Finally, look within your own heart and life. See the evidence of my hand in all you've overcome, the blessings you've received, even in the midst of hardship. Pay close attention to how this day unfolds. Notice the subtle nudges, the unexpected opportunities. When you lay your head down tonight, reflect on the events that transpired. Remember, I am faithful. 
Trust that I do all things well, and that this new season I bring will be a testament to my love for you. You are not alone. No, never alone. Let your thoughts find solace in my presence, and allow my spirit to guide your heart. More are they with you than against you in the situation. I have dispatched angels to guard and direct your steps. This day holds significance. It's a God day, and I will be intricately involved in your affairs. Don't be surprised by unexpected encounters or divinely orchestrated connections. These are opportunities one present for your growth. Trust that your path is not haphazard. Every step you take aligns with the grand plan I have crafted for your life. My hand guides your journey, and my care for you is meticulous and personal. Embrace the joy of knowing I am actively working on your behalf. Move forward with confidence, for I am with you, carrying you towards a place of blessing. The Father says today, timidity and fear are going in boldness, audacity, and faith unfeigned are calling you up into a place of perfect love, because love never fails, thus you will not fail. You see, perfect love casts out all fear, my beloved. Through the work of the cross, I have brought perfect love into every aspect of your life. It is through this perfect love that I am perfecting what you have committed to me. Relinquish any expectations in your heart that go against my promises. Trust me, for I am leading you towards the fulfillment of your highest heart's desires and dreams. I haven't said no, and I have not excluded you, nor have I denied you. Make it your now determination to free yourself from the chains of unfounded fear and deny its hold on your life. The past accomplishments I have brought forth in your life are merely the beginning of a season of great fruitfulness. Are you ready to experience a catch so abundant that the nets cannot contain? Are you ready for your words and actions to carry the same power as if I spoke and acted? You are standing on the threshold of a new entitlement, a new experience of the blessings that flow from the cross. These entitlements are manifesting themselves in your healing, your spiritual well-being, your relationships, and even in your finances. Embrace this season, step up boldly, and indulge in the richness of life. I have sent forth my blessings, my worthy portion, and they are meant for you to receive. Have faith, for by spending your faith, you are investing in the currency of the kingdom, a currency that surpasses anything earthly means can offer. Remember, I am with you always, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. This is a time of blessings, my child. Embrace it fully, for it belongs to you. Trust in me, for I am faithful to bring all that I have promised to pass in your life. The Father says today, from the place of renewed intimacy and experience of my glory, is coming to your life a beautiful transformation, like a spinning dance of growth and discovery. My word is coming to a place of amplification in your spirit, even as Adam and Eve experienced my following, when they heard my voice walking in the cool of the day. I am walking in the garden of your inner man, that you might find me, and seek me, and step into a new profound level of relationship that is yours to know and enjoy by my determinate will. There is a sound, a resonance of my sound and my voice, that will begin to permeate your life. In your study of the scriptures, you will come across the passage where they heard my voice walking in the cool of the day. Even so, I am walking by my word and my voice in the inner man of your spirit that I've created as my dwelling place. So dig deeper so you can understand this as the sound of my wind and my word whirling on the breezes of your inner man. I have instilled within you a spirit that resonates, much like a tuning fork. At this pivotal point in your life, I choose to step closer to you and pluck the strings of your inner man so that my sound, my voice and my song will come forth, be known, and set many free with the freedom wherewith this day I make you free. As a result, you will hear my sound and, in turn, emit my sound, and the effects of miracles and answered prayer will be tangible. Just as certain sounds can shatter glass or evoke physical reactions, you will shed burdens that have clung to you, causing remarkable transformations in your presence. Prepare yourself, my beloved child, for when you enter a room, people will take notice. There may even be instances where someone, seemingly put together, 
but secretly struggling with a demonic stronghold, will undergo a physical reaction that draws attention from everyone around. Recognize this as an opportunity, for demons are like unruly children seeking attention. With a simple command from you, shut up and come out. You will demonstrate my divine power. My hand is ready to manifest in your life in a unique and powerful way. Do not be surprised if these extraordinary encounters occur outside of traditional church settings. They may arise as you go about your everyday activities, simply being yourself. An angel of change will accompany you, initiating transformations in those around you. And you will carry the radiance of my glory, where in the past was nothing but disappointment and failure. The Father says today, I am doing a complete work in your past, present and future. My spirit is actively working in your past, bringing liberty and healing to every broken area of your life, from the fractures and abuses of the past. You felt insecure and unsafe, even in your skin, and I've seen that, says God. I understand the need for emotional security, so be assured that I am concerned and moving with the gentle hand of a shepherd, resolving the conflicts, stilling the nightmares and threats of the enemy, that have touched every aspect of your being, your heart, mind, and trust. You are safe, says God in my hands. You are safe and secure. When you feel panic and anxiety taking over, say this to yourself, I am safe. I am secure in my Father's capable hands. The enemy, the circumstance, and the situation may churn and boil around you to the point all seems lost, but beloved, be assured that nothing and no one can pluck you out of my loving care. Your life is hidden in me, protected and shielded from the challenges and uncertainties of the world. So much so, that the enemy is blinded like those who grope to find the door when the angels visited Lot in Sodom. They are seeking to gain access, but I've blinded their ambitions and turned them instead against each other so that you won't have to fight them, but witness their removal from your life by their misguided efforts. The Father says time for you to soar, time for you to fly, like a bird in flight, encapsulated in a bubble of my presence, love, peace and faithfulness. You are ascending in worship that you might descend in warfare, witnessing the enemy's total defeat in every area of your life. People, forgive them, forgive, release, bless, move on. Even though people may disappoint you at times, you can rest assured that you will not be shaken because your trust is firmly placed in that Christ anointing, my indwelling presence on the inside of you. Be confident and be assured, says the Father. You will rest deeply and live confidently, knowing that my embrace and protection encompass every part of your life. This is your season to experience the freedom that comes from finding your identity in me. As you continue your journey, Remember the truth of my promises. Doubt your doubts and embrace my sure word that has gone out over you but the prophets. Embrace healing, restoration and security, knowing you are anchored in my unwavering love. Your past does not define you. It becomes a testimony of the redemptive initiative of grace and power that is flowing down to you from my throne and filling you with those things necessary to reshape your entire existence. Walk confidently and joyfully this day and every day going forward, knowing that your life is hidden in me and that I will never fail you. The Father says today, let your mouth pray. Put more energy into prayer than you do all the vain, unenlightened tactics of the flesh that only make matters worse in your life. I say again, let your mouth pray. E embrace the power of prayer. Every word you utter in prayer is valuable and holds significance in the eyes of the divine. Allow your mouth to be a vessel of prayer, for it is through prayer that you align your desires with my will and designs. When you pray, your words ascend as fragrant incense before the throne of the Almighty, establishing an atmosphere of connection. Never underestimate the profound effect your prayers can have. The enemy may attempt to downplay prayer as an act of desperation, but I assure you, it is a transformative catalyst in your life. Through prayer, you can transcend the ordinary and step into the realm of the miraculous. Let your mouth utter prayers with passion and conviction and watch as mountains crumble and barriers tremble before you. 
No challenge or obstacle in your life is too insurmountable for the fervent prayers offered at the altar of your faith. Prayer has the power to turn my promises into tangible results and over the top outcomes in your life. The angels assigned to you from the moment of your birth eagerly listen for your prayers, ready to bring them before my throne with anticipation. Don't let a lack of prayerfulness leave your assigned angels standing empty-handed before God. Know that I am always ready and willing to hear your prayers. I am inclined and disposed to answer you. My default response to your pleas is a resounding yes, always yes, and amen. There is no obstacle too great that leaves me unwilling to overcome it in order to meet your needs. The cross of Calvary stands as a testament to the lengths I am willing to go to help you in your moments of greatest desperation. Let your words of connection and surrender to my spirit bring about the transformation, miracles and breakthroughs you seek. Your breath in prayer is never wasted. It is a divine invitation for me to show up and work wonders in your life. Trust in my faithfulness and unwavering love as you engage fervently in sacred act of prayer. The Father says today, step into the perfection wherewith I am perfect. And as I am, so are you in the earth. Who told you that no one is perfect? Was that a thought from me? Was it a God-breathed inspiration? No, it was not. When I said in my word, be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect, I released all the grace and power you need to see it done in your life. It is not up to you in your own efforts or ability. I am the Father inside you, doing the work to bring you forth in my image, with my character and my perfection intact as your personal testimony. When the enemy of your soul tears you down and demeans your prospects, hold my word up as the shield for your faith. When life, circumstance or other people trash your dreams and visions, make up your mind then and there that you will believe the good report. All things are possible. I am the God living inside you, for whom nothing is impossible. That is who I am, therefore in me, that is who you are. You are the earthly reflection of my heavenly image. You are the image bearer of the invisibility of my glory. Yield to that glory. Embrace that glory. Wrap your faith around that glory and see my perfection become your manifest portion in life. So walk in my perfection and express my perfection even in the midst of your blatant and obvious imperfections. Know who you are. Receive my love. Abide in me daily. Walk in faith and embrace the risks by which mountains are moved and destiny realized. Obey me in all things even when you don't understand, or for that matter, agree. Be transparent and honest, for as it has been said, I am more interested in relationship than I am in respect. When you walk in my perfection, you will experience a life of joy, peace and fulfillment. You will be a blessing to others and make a difference in the world. So today, my beloved child, choose to walk in my perfection. It is your destiny. The Father says today, my spirit is moving in your situation to shed light on the deceptions that the enemy has sought to weave into your life. I am bringing forth in glaring illumination the secrets that have been hidden in darkness and ensuring that they are proclaimed loudly, resonating from the very depths of your being. The enemy's strategy is to entangle you in disappointment and overwhelm you with frustration. However, I implore you to redirect your focus away from people and circumstances, fixing your gaze firmly upon me, your loving Father. It is inevitable that people will let you down and situations may bring forth frustration, but I urge you not to place your trust solely in human strength. Instead, trust in the word that I have planted deep within your heart. My love for you is unwavering. I will never forsake you or disregard your pleas for help. My beloved child, do you truly trust me? If you do, then allow me to step in and take control of every aspect of your life. I will guide you from where you currently are to a place of victory and abundant blessings. The promises I have made in your life are the very catalyst for the breakthrough you yearn for. In this journey, it is crucial that you do not invest your energy or initiative into anything or anyone
that contradicts the promises I have spoken over your life. The enemy seeks to isolate you, to cut you off from the vital resources that will lead you on the path to breakthrough. Therefore, I encourage you, dear one, to test the spirits around you. True discernment is not fueled by suspicion or doubt, masked as religious behavior. Rather, it is rooted in love, which casts out all fear. It is a perfect love that is unconditional and brings rest to your weary soul. Enter into the rest that I have lovingly prepared for you. As part of this process, it is important to forgive those whom you hold anger against. Release those you have unjustly judged in your thoughts. Remember, dear one, that all humanity is prone to evil, and wickedness can manifest in every action. However, I offer you cleansing and redemption at the foot of the cross. There, I will set you free and bring you to a place of renewed and vibrant purification. Let go of the need to be right and release the demand for justice that does not align with the principles of my kingdom. Surrender these burdens to me, and I will bear them for you. I am here for you, ready to expose the deceptions of the enemy and lead you into a life of victory and blessings. Trust in me, lean on me, and allow me to guide you through every step of your journey. Embrace the rest and freedom that come from forgiving others and surrendering your burdens at the cross. Together, we will overcome the enemy's schemes and walk in the fullness of the life I have prepared for you. The Father says today, I know your heart, and I understand the anxiety and fear you are feeling about the uncertainty of the future. Know that because you live in a fallen environment, the spirit of Leviathan swims through the waters of prideful fallen humanity all around you, and you will face challenges and obstacles that may seem insurmountable. However, I want to assure you that your tomorrows are in good hands. As the sovereign God of the universe, I fully control everything, including your life. Nothing taking place in your life is beyond my reach or my power to address, shift and bring deliverance. Trust me. Cry out to me. Let your mouth pray. Even though you may not be able to see it now, I have a good plan for your future. I am a God of abundance and life and want to give you the best. Encourage your heart. Lift your head up. Set your expectations high. Dream big and believe that I can do anything. When your hopes are dashed and distractions surround you, turn to my word. It serves as a template for your life, providing guidance and wisdom. Meditate on my word and let it shape your expectations for the future. Remember, this is a time for action, not just waiting. I have already equipped you with everything you need to succeed. Now, it is up to you to take action and put my word into practice. Through your faith and belief in me, you will witness amazing results. I am no respecter of persons. What I have done for others, I can certainly do for you. There is no need to hesitate in believing that I can do great things in your life. Trust in my power and my love for you, and you will see remarkable transformations. So, as you face uncertainty or obstacles, remember that I am in control. Trust in my plan. Set your expectations high and take action, guided by my word. Your future is bright, and with my guidance, you will overcome any challenges that come your way. The Father says today, I am with you. I am in you. I am all around you, surrounding you with my favor, love, protection, and guidance in times of difficulty. I know that you are facing many challenges. Your life, family situation, and other aspects of life are full of turmoil and uncertainty. Never forget or take your mind off the fact that I am with you. I am your God and will never leave or forsake you. In the midst of all the chaos and confusion, draw on my limitless strength and refuse to be entangled in the circumstance by leaning on your own understanding and resources. Do not give in to the temptation to be afraid or discouraged. Remember that I have already overcome the world. And because I live in you, you have also overcome the world. The enemy's primary goal is to distract you. He knows that if he can keep you distracted, he can keep you from walking in my will. But I want to assure you that I am here to guide you and protect you. When you feel lost or confused, come to me in prayer. I will show you the way. And when you feel weak and discouraged, I will give you strength. 
Surrender your weariness to me. Never grow frustrated or impatient with well-doing. Even when things are difficult, don't give up on walking in my simplicity. Those around you may try to tell you that you need to be complex and sophisticated in order to be spiritual. I want to assure you that the opposite is true. Simplicity is your portion. Simplicity is your deliverance. I'm a simple savior with all the answers you need to find yourself in the yoke, easy and the burden light I have set before you. Come as a little child. Let me hold you in my arms. Let me fill you with my love and my peace. And know that I am always with you, no matter what you are facing. The Father says today, make my presence your priority. As you make a determinate and conscious choice to seek the kingdom above every other consideration, I will generously bless your life with the desires of your heart. I have a magnificent plan for you, filled with joy and blessings that might seem like fiction. But it's not it, is the reality of living and breathing and having your life bounded by and surrounded by my glory, power and kingdom strength. I intend to bring you into a state of abundant fulfillment, where your deepest desires and dreams become a reality daily. This is the essence of our relationship, my child. I am a loving and caring God who desires to shower you with goodness. Brush aside any religious misconceptions or doubts that may have hindered your belief in my promises. I am a good God and my goodness knows no bounds when it comes to you. Let go of your feeble plans and strategies, as they are futile attempts to comprehend how I will bring about the remarkable things I have in store for you. Instead, I urge you to find rest in me. Simply surrender to my care and protection. Let today be characterized by rejoicing and praise, for I assure you, I've got this. No longer should you settle for a mediocre existence, 